welcome back to my channel and today I'm filming another exciting swatch party video. I have not bought an eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay in a while. They were my first ever high-end brand so I decided when they announced that they were coming out with a distortion palette maybe I would give it a chance so if you guys are interested in seeing some swatches on my tan skin then just keep watching. Also, you guys know the drill. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe down below. I do upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. And if you are a returning member of the Karen Harris Makeup Squad, thank you guys. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and swatch some very expensive eyeshadow. Now, I've definitely seen mixed reviews on this palette, so we shall see. I definitely don't keep things that I don't like. First off, the mirror is really cute. I love that you can like bend it, but it like stays in place. That's kind of awesome. This packaging is top notch. Urban Decay always kills it with their packaging. So let's go ahead and swatch. I really want to swatch these like holo colors. So I'm just going to go straight for it. A lot of people said like, why would you need to buy this palette if you have like the Kat Von D Alchemist palette? And you know, that's a good question. It's a valid point. That's why we do swatches, so we can find out for ourselves. Now, I'm by no means a holo person, but holy shit. Oh my god. I just swatched the rainbow. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my damn. I wish they had just done that. Just made those shades and just stopped. Sorry, I had to get paper towels. You know, just like put the five of those in a palette. Like I don't need all of the other stuff. <laughs> it's a little bit powdery, but oh my God, those swatches are gorgeous. Okay, so let me just name them off too really quick for you. So we have Bleach, we have Shifty, we have Space, we have Mind Game, and we have Blur right here. Super cute, and then we have the like jewel tone shade so you're basically supposed to top these off with the first row oh my gosh this was way more pigmented than i thought Ooh, pretty that green one so pretty so let's play really quick because what they say to do with this palette is now use the dual chromes on top. So I'm very, very curious. So let's try the green on top of the green. Ooh. I mean, that's kind of cool, but is it like life changing? Isn't that just, I don't know. I'm going to have to test this on my eyelids. Like, I feel like it's a little bit gimmicky, but let me tell you what these shades are. So the first one is... First Offense, we have Hot Box, then we have 5.0, which is the blue, and then we have Rouge for the purple, and Trash Talk, which is like a pretty pink shade. And then let's swatch the last row. So these are pretty, like, not boring, but like neutral colors. So interesting, they put their matte black in here, which is called Blackout. So this first shade is called Territorial. We have Blackout, we have Old Smoke, Shag, and Velvet. So there are the shades from the Urban Decay Distortion Palette. Okay, okay. so I did swatch the pink shade over the black. I mean, honestly, I wish they had done more wearable shades as far as the jewel tones go. And then, of course, when I dipped my finger back into the lighter shade, as you can see, there is some residual black eyeshadow not mixed in here so that might be one of the cons of this palette anyway I will definitely test it out and get a review up on my channel now I do have quite a few swatch videos up so if there's anything you guys want me to prioritize and review just let me know down in the comments I hope you guys have a great rest of your day thank you so much for watching guys bye